Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good evening, Titas. Father Danny, please take over. Akala ko meron iba. So we now place ourselves in the loving presence of God. In the name of the Father, and the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Truly, he is risen. Alleluia. 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 Thank you, Lord, for the gift of the day. Thank you for protecting us for a safe good night rest. Thank you for the blessing of the new life for us, for our loved ones, members of our families. Thank you for gathering us, O oh Lord, in your name in this Zoom prayer moment. As you promise, where two or three are gathered in your name, you are in our midst. Stay with us, Lord, the reason, Lord. Stay with us, Lord, because when you are not around, it's always night and evening. Stay with us, Lord, so that we may recognize you as our resurrected Lord, our Savior, our Redeemer. Stay with us, Lord, so that every moment we come together, rooted in the Word, we may come to see you and experience your being flesh in the Eucharist. Thank you for the gift of the new day. Today is Monday, after the day of the resurrection. Bless us as we endeavor to be more pleasing to you. Bless our loved ones wherever they are and members of our prayer global warrior group. Bless us in your name, O Lord. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory Glory to you, Lord. Lord. After Jesus had fed the 5,000 men, his disciples saw him walking on the sea. The next day, the crowd that remained across the sea saw that there had been only one boat there, and that Jesus had not gone along with his disciples at the boat, but only his disciples had left. Other boats came from Tiberias, the place where they had when the Lord gave thanks. When the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into boats and came to Capernaum Alina, looking for Jesus. And when they found him across the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered them and said, Amen, Amen, I say to you. You are looking for me not because you saw signs, but because you have the loaves and the do not work for food that perishes, for food that endures for it done with, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him the Father God has set his seal. So they said to him, What can we do to accomplish the works of God? Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God, that you believe in the one he sent. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord, Jesus Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. Good morning and good evening. Good morning, good evening. Good evening, Father. Good good evening. Evening. Good morning, good evening, Father. You realize that last week we had the multiplication and the feeding of the 5,000 with the five loaves and the two fish. And yesterday, of course, third Sunday, we have the story of the two disciples on the road to Emmaus. And so here, putting together these two things, these two words of God of gospel reflection, we realize truly that the word of God becomes flesh in the Eucharist. And the feeding is the Eucharistic parlance that we are receiving, we are experiencing every moment. So much so that those who come to the Eucharist they are not only nourished by the word of God, with the breaking of the word of God, but they are as well nourished by the communion that uh, has been, and through the substance of station, becomes a body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so precisely, we experience how the Lord loves us, how the Lord loves his people, and how the Lord wants that all of us are fed, so that he would always say, no one will be hungry for those who eat his bread, and no one will be thirsty for those who drink his blood. And this is the Eucharist par excellence in our life. And so today we see the people looking, longing for Jesus. Resemblance of what the psalm would say, 
like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, O Lord, my God. They were looking for Jesus because they were fed. Of course, they were looking for Jesus because they have witnessed his working of miracles, the healing of the sick, and the many other activities that Jesus had done in their lives. But this time, since they are fed, and so since they are in communion with the Lord Jesus, all the more they look for him. In fact, they were observing him in the Sea of Galilee. And so when they knew that Jesus is not around together with his apostles, he went as well to the other side. And so they're asking of the Lord. And the Lord simply answered them, you are looking for me because you have been fed. And so it's not only because of their needs, physical needs, but this time the gospel would put it, their longing for Jesus is beyond now the physical needs. Of course, they want Jesus to be with them. And so precisely, the Lord continues to invite them. See how the Lord would progress in his speech to believe in him so as a precondition of a requisite to receiving eternal life. The receiving of the word of God, the receiving of the body and blood of Jesus Christ are already means for us to receive eternal life. But of course, there is still the prerequisite, but it is given already to us when we receive the sacrament of baptism. The faith that is embedded, which we call as well the theological virtues, together with faith, hope, and together with hope and love, all of it would constitute the gifts of God to every person who had been baptized. And to those who had been baptized, they are always called and challenged to deepen their faith, to live closely or closer to the Lord in love, as well as to hope for greater things. And the greater things are the things that are eternal, the things that the Lord had been reserved for us. So we see where we are. Are we like the crowds longing for the Lord every day? And hopefully our moments of coming together in this, mo in this prayer group, it's our longing to be nourished by the Lord, to encounter the Lord, and to encounter each other. That's our prayer. That's our wish. And we ask the Lord to bless our gathering always. Amen. Amen. Will I continue, Tito Ray, for the prayer? Apo, apo. Yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Jesus. For coming into our lives. For coming, for coming, for coming into our, our lives. lives. Broken in so many ways. Broken, broken in so many ways. many ways. But you have broken as well your body for us. But you have broken, broken, broken as well your body for that us. That we will be nervous every moment we come to you. That we will be nervous in communion. In communion. As well as in the breaking of the bread. As, as well, well as the breaking of the bread, as well as the bread, teach us, O Lord, and grant our hearts desire, and grant and our, our hearts desire, to long for you always, to long for you always, to search for you, to search for you, so that you will never be lost. In our lives, that we will embrace you, that we will embrace you constantly, constantly, but above all, that you may embrace us, but above all, you embrace us, never let go of us. Never, 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 never,
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Amen. Saints Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. Angel of God. Saint Augustine, Saint Anthony, and Saint Hannibal. Pray, pray, pray for us. For us. Saint Joseph. Pray, 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 pray for us. Send, O oh Lord, your holy apostles into your church. The Lord be with you. And with and your spirit. Spirit. May Almighty God bless us and our families, the Father and the Son. Oh, and the Holy spirit. Spirit. Amen. 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 Good evening, all. Good evening, Good evening, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank so you see so you tomorrow. Thank you so much, Father. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you, Father. 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 Thank you, Father. Bye bye. Thank you, Father. Can you hear me? It's tough. Yes. 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 Linda, you're uh, three pointers. Yes. The three pointers for today's gospel. Number one, are we like the crowd, treating Jesus as our provider and problem solver? Number two, it would be good if we do not take Jesus for granted. Spend some time today and the coming days to reflect and pray on Jesus' response to the crowd who were looking for him. Number three, what quality in Jesus draws you to him? And what keeps you believing in him, especially in difficult times? Amen. 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 Uh, anyone who would like to share a reflection? In the other group, in St. Monica, uh, we try to memorize two uh, passages. Uh, John 3.16, in God's all of the world, etc. The other one is uh, Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Seek the kingdom of God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And everything else will follow. I think this uh, passage is the message in today's gospel also. So that is what I can say to you. John 3.16 and Matthew 6.33. Thank you. <clears throat> and uh, please uh, do share your reflection when you are ready. The bell. I'll read to you the Catholic mom. It's very nice. Don't forget it's all straw. Barb's mother reminded her children that working for anything other than for the Lord is straw. Straw may look attractive in the field, but it is of no nourishment for the body or soul. Straw is a waste of time, money, or energy on anything not of eternal importance. Jesus warns us of being preoccupied with those things which are strong. Do not work for food that per perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. That's John 6, 27. Most of us spend a lifetime working at a job and earning money only to waste much of it on more and more, bigger and bigger. Instead, Jesus calls us to feast on him and to work for things of importance, 
the building of our domestic church, the education and spiritual formation of our children, the care of the sick and the elderly, and serving the poor. Any selfless, kind, or generous offering in his name endures forever. We're tempted to work for straw, a grander house, the latest fashion, new seasonal decorations, or shiny pieces of jewelry. But eventually, bubbles lose their luster. Decorative items tarnish in the landfill. Food rots in our refrigerators or make us unhealthy. Instead, we are to feast on Jesus, the food that never perishes. His words, his flesh in the Eucharist, his will, for this is the food that endures forever, and the rest is all straw. What are you feasting on, straw or Jesus? We should pray, dear Lord, help us to always feast on you. Grant us the wisdom to spend our lives on the eternal. Amen. 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 This is also the homily of the mass, the mass of Father Tito. Because he said, when we pray for fervently for a grace or a petition that we make, we really make the fervent prayer from our heart asking for his grace. And then when the grace is given, we tend to forget to thank the giver. We tend to focus on what we got, which are material things, which are mundane things. Father Tito said, we shouldn't lose our focus on the giver of the grace, who is Jesus, who is grace himself, and who is eternal life. So focus on Jesus, and when we go to Mass, we partake of the Eucharist, we partake of his body and blood, and at the same time, we are healed of our brokenness, and we gain strength from the Eucharist that we receive. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tita Bell. Welcome, Peter Ray. Sino sa sunod po? Ito mani. Ito mani. Ito mani. <laughs> Hindi ko na maalala. Ano ba yung sinabi ko pa nun? <laughs> yung prioritize spiritual life over uh, physical needs. Yung, uh, uh, yung ano yung question. Ano bang hinahanap ng ta? What are we looking for? Let's ask this question to ourselves. I'm what are we looking for? What do we, what do we want in life? Obviously, God created us. Love will preserve him. But uh, we are in this world. So we seek the worldly things. You know, we have enough. may mga nagbibigayan ng ayuda dyan, mapilis yung tao. Nahanap nila yung uh, usog sa pangangatawan. Yung kailangan. Kailangan ng food, siyempre. Daily existence. But, ang in-emphasize ni Christ dito is the food that endures in emphasize niya the food that is yours for eternal life. And what is that? In the Eucharist? 
dia sudah dia buat dia this people you know the world needs to be re-evangelized kasi obviously para hindi alam ng karamihan ano kailangan nila they think that after this their existence here on earth was not many don't believe in the life after the after life yun ang dapat na ma-emphasize din ng mga evangelization. Na it's not only food for the body, but most of all for the soul. Very the word of God. And yan lang. In the ear months, it is the, the word and you can yun ang magbibigay sa tao ng kaligtas dapat na inaalala kapit na mahuman not rich but uh, spiritual spiritual rich amen Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. you once, Tito Manny. Thank you. Sino po? Susunod? Hello, Tito Josie. This is my uh, first time to meet you. Tito mm. Josephine. Nakita na tayo dati. Oh. Before Tito Ray. Oh. Like, yeah, I like it, it. a long, long time from ago. New Jersey. For the time you to New Jersey, right? Oh, po, asama si Tita. Did kayo po kayo po dito sa Elizabeth? Yes, sa Russell Park. Russell Park. Apo. Oh, malapit Elizabeth, about the way. Apo. Elizabeth. Tito Josie, uh, are you, sino po, to, susunod po, to, ready to share a reflection? Tito Bell. Hmm. Parang wala na. Ano, tito Gray. Tito Gray. Tito, tito, <coughs> tito Grace. Si tito wala Grace. ako, sorry. Sorry, Tito Ray, wala. I, but uh, hindi kayo ang nag-opening prayer, kayo po ang closing. Sino closing prayer natin? Si, si, si Mika Bilen. Ah, Tito. <laughs> Mika Bilen. <laughs> closing prayer na tayo. That's right, man. <laughs> uh, wala pa tayong, uh, mag-30 minutes pa lang tayo, pero okay din. Na ano, then uh, siguro tomorrow we shall have more uh, reflections uh, uh, to maximize o kayo din malaking bagay nandito si Father Danny kanina baka buka mm-hmm. wala siyang sinabing see you tomorrow ano? gaginagaya ko sa TPN meron ah, meron nagsabi siya oh, see you tomorrow see you tomorrow see you tomorrow sa airport na si Shea okay 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 po uh, So, closing na. Closing na. Okay. Tita Bell. Closing na tayo. Tita Bell. Okay. 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 Uh, dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this time with your children. We pray that you would bless us all with your love and your grace. Protect us and keep us safe and healthy and grant us peace in our hearts. Be with those who are in need of healing and comfort, especially those who, whose needs are great. Give them strength to endure hardships and persecution. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Now let us pray one Hail Mary and then followed by Glory Be. Glory Be. Glory.
Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now and ever, and ever shall be without end. Amen. Amen. The Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We can't forget our Lord. Good evening. Okay, po. Just focus po yung ending natin. Our Father, Hail Mary, and glory be nakalimutan natin ngayon. Our Father. Okay. Okay. okay po. Bye-bye po. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good morning. Bye-bye.